If you don't like, love America and you don't like the way we do things, I got one thing to say. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> we don't worship Buddha. I said we don't worship Buddha. We don't worship Muhammad. We don't worship Allah. We worship God. We worship God's son, Jesus Christ. Senator Santorum, your thoughts concerning Reverend Terry's message are far from clear. You stood to give him a resounding ovation after his sermon. Yet, when speaking with reporters in Moline, Illinois on Monday, you distanced yourself from his words, stating simply that Reverend Terry is entitled to his own beliefs and that you wholeheartedly believe in the freedom of religion. Should we take your applause as affirmation of the sentiments of the speech? Are there parts of Reverend Terry's message with which you disagree, and if so, what are they? He likened certain uh, religious beliefs with not loving America, asserting that those people have no place in America. You subsequently affirmed, I believe in the freedom of religion and all religions are welcome. Was this intended as a specific repudiation of Reverend Terry's statement? What responsibility, Senator, do you believe elected officials or candidates have to address hateful or bigoted speech when it takes place in their presence? Is the responsibility greater if it is said by one of the candidate's supporters? Are there circumstances in which you would refuse to stand by someone espousing hate speech? What are they and why not here? After Reverend Terry's speech, you came on stage and were blessed by him. Accepting a blessing came across to many as embracing the religious and political sentiments that he had just conveyed. Is that what you intended? Are there clergy from whom you would not accept a blessing? And what statements or actions would cause you to reject such a blessing and draw such a line? Senator, I truly believe your responses can be invaluable to the American public in helping the nation to understand the proper role of religion in our political system, in election campaigns, and I believe that much of the public will look forward to understanding your views on these vital issues.